What's up everybody? We're back. I've got less of a beard. It's been some time. <laughs> but as you can see, we've got the old COVID Cummins back in the air. Uh, if you are just tuning in, this is a beautiful front end on an 07 Ram. And uh, Jesse is getting ready to do the steering gear box. What do we have going on? Got a steering box from Redhead. They're kind of the go-to for a replacement box on a, on a truck like this. Uh, we're not doing a uh, assist cylinder or anything on it, just a stock replacement, stock style box, but upgraded like Redhead does. Mm -hmm. And uh, so pretty straightforward install. Um, just kind of uh, take it off and put it back on. No real fancy tools or anything. It's just a, uh, a good upgrade that this truck's gonna need since we're running some big meats on the front of it. Yeah. Steering boxes on these trucks are definitely, they're not the hardest thing in the world to do, but there are some simple things that can really trip you up while you're installing, which is, we're gonna go over that stuff on this, but uh, yeah, I would say for, for the average person, or even if you don't have super trick suspension on the truck, very easy to tackle, not hard to do, and a nice upgrade. If your truck has sloppy steering and you've already replaced a whole bunch of other stuff on it, and it still feels like you're driving a wagon, it's probably time for a steering gear box. All right, well, let's get started. We're going to start with a full sweep here. And it's about one rotation on the sector shaft, or on the pivot arm, sector shaft. Another one. Yeah. So we've come around from one to the other on pivot arm, and this spun, I believe, just about three and a half times. So if we need to find out if our box is centered or not, one of the things we can do is. We've got two marks here on the full sweep of the pitman arm. We've gone all the way one way, all the way the other way, and just about split that difference between there. And we can be assured that we are pretty darn close to centered on the steering gear box and the sector shaft, which if we count now, we should have an equal amount of turns here one way or the other. This is our new redhead steering box. Um, it's a, the exact same box we pulled out, just upgraded and rebuilt. And uh, so it goes back in, no modifications, nothing special. Uh, just get it back in there and then kind of reverse your disassembly procedure and you're ready to take it for a drive. All right, so we have an air compressor to run, uh, accessories including our ARB air lockers that are in the axles here. We have this ARB twin air air compressor and the manifold along with our solenoid for the air lockers. And there's no real like mount you're gonna buy just to bolt into a pickup and make this work in most cases. So we're gonna build a custom mount, to hold this up on the frame rail, and then wire everything in from there. All right, so we got our mount fabbed up here. We just got to find a welded on, just test fitting everything right now. The ARB compressor fits on top with plenty of room. Um, it's actually gonna be nice because our step here, once it retracts, will actually shield uh, the last little gap here uh, to keep 
dirt and water and snow and everything else from going up there and hitting the compressor. And then we'll build another little shield here on the front to protect the rest of it. But for now we can uh, get this all welded up and then we start mounting all of our stuff up here. It'll all mount in one nice little spot and uh, make it all really nice and contained there. We'll run our lines front and back, we'll run all our wiring and our switches and that part will be finished up. All right, so we haven't even got to take a test drive yet and we got some new parts going on again. Um, we've got a awesome intake setup from BD from their competition series. It's a whole new intake horn that replaces this plate and your stock fuel rail and everything to give a big wide plenum for all the air to go from your intercooler into your cylinder head. Um, in the back before this, there was no option for this style of manifold. You either had a single intake horn that just put, you know, had your uh, your heater here, and then your, you know, just like a four inch square plate there with your uh, intake. And if you wanted anything more than that, you had to have this all milled off the side of the head and have a custom intake made. And that was for like big deal, like, you know, pulling trucks and like drag trucks and stuff like that. And that's a lot of money. Now there's an intermediate option. You can get this bolt on plenum um, that widens out the area, the area that your air is being forced into the head. And it's really a, a nice piece. So we got to get all this old stuff off of here and then we can start throwing our new parts on. So you can see we've got our intake plenum on here. Um, this is such a cool piece. Like, yeah, it really fits in nice. It gives you every little bracket that you need and spacer and everything to make all your uh, dipsticks and wiring and everything kind of fit around. Gives you an extension harness for your uh, injectors and a few other little things that we still haven't put on yet. Just got this thing on there, getting a couple of bolts in it, getting everything uh, kind of fit and make sure that we're not going to run into anything with fuel lines um, from our CP3 up to here. And I mean, I'm just excited to get this thing done and fired up. It's such a cool piece. Like this thing is really, really, there's just nothing else out there like it. So we're going to get back to work and finish this up. And then hopefully in not too long, we can take it for a test drive. I think we should go around the block.